Let's start with the question. Random item drop sign making a fun survival server in which the player has to keep adding items to the generator. Or else the item dropper will lose power. This item dropper drops items needed to power the generator. And the only way to get region is from potions dropped by dropper. I want to know if there is a way to make a random item from a list drop every so often in the air. The exact spot is 1181-32-131 in case that helps. I have tried to use an execute command for an armor stand. An invisible guy with his name visibly being item drop zone. This is the command for him. Backquote, summon armor underscore stand tilde 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 invisible. 1b, invulnerable. 1b, persistence required. 1b, number gravity. 1b, custom name. Item drop zone, custom name visible. 1b. This shouldn't really change anything for an execute except the at e. Type equals. Stuff, but I need help with that part. How do I make one? A chain of commands that allows me to do a random command out of like. Let's say. Eight different commands I already have. And. Two. A command to have as my guideline. Like the working version of. Execute at e. Type equals armor stand. Name equals item drop zone. Summon dropped item. Etc. So how can we solve this? There are two possible answers. Answer 1. You can create a loot table that contains all the different items you want the item dropper to drop. Go to Minecraft. Tools. N. Loots. PHP to create a loot table with all of the items you want in it. Because loot tables are random. You don't get the same exact drops and amounts of those drops when you kill mobs. Loot tables can be used to generate random drops, but can be controlled enough to decide probabilities and amounts if you so desire. If you don't know how to create loot tables, there are plenty of examples on the internet that explain how. Once you create your loot table, Copy it to your clipboard and go to your world saves folder. The world saves folder's name is default to world on servers. And then navigate to the folder called data. Create a folder called loot underscore tables inside of it if it doesn't already exist. Inside of that folder, create a folder called custom underscore drops. Inside of the custom underscore drops folder, create a folder called entities. Then in that folder create a text file called item underscore dropper. JSON with your loot table pasted inside of it. In your Minecraft world. Use this command to summon the armor stand. Summon armor underscore stand minus 1181 32 to 131 invisible. 1b, invulnerable. 1b, persistence required. 1b, number gravity. 1b, custom name. Item underscore dropper, custom name visible. 0b, death loot table. Custom underscore drops. Entities, item underscore dropper. Then kill the armor stand with the command, kill. At e. Type equals armor underscore stand, name equals item underscore dropper. Right after you summon it. With chain command blocks you could do this on the same tick. This will summon an armor stand with the loot table created. And then kill it to make it drop the items in the loot table. Keep in mind that the mob loot game rule must be on for this to work. Use game rule do mob loot true to toggle mob loot to true. Answer 2. My first idea would to build a few redstone randomizers that run from a clock. Activated by a command block that tests to see if there is power. Ah. Potions. In the generator. And every so often the clock will activate. And the randomizers would activate a random command block that spawns in an item at the spot. You can look up a tutorial on how to make a redstone randomizer. And it should be pretty straightforward from there.
but as for a command block chain, I couldn't tell you, I do not know much about command blocks. If you need it to be a command block chain, might have to wait for another answer. I hope these answers helped, and if they did, please drop a comment and subscribe.